Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. I love you so, 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 so much. And if this is your first time clicking on any of my videos, oh, thank you so much for clicking. Thank you for watching up to this level. I love you so much. I already love you. You are so easy to love. Thank you so much. And please do subscribe and make sure that you click on that notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. Every time we are live, you will be notified. Hallelujah. I have a word for you. God says I should ask you, which mirror are you reflecting? God says I should ask you, which mirror are you reflecting? The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. It says, we with unveiled, with unveiled faces, beholding into the word of God as in the mirror, the glory of God. We are being transfigured into that same image from one level of splendor to another by the spirit of God. He says, as we behold into the word of God, we are being transformed into that same image. We are being transformed into that same image. So the more you behold into the mirror of which is the word of God, into God's own mirror, which is the word of God, you are being transformed into that same image. You begin to reflect who God created you to be. You become the fullness of who God created you to be. But God says the problem is that most often we choose to believe a lie more than the truth, which is in the word of God. And how do we choose to believe a lie? Because we choose to reflect another mirror rather than the mirror that of the world. You choose to believe what others told you. You choose to believe what your ex told you. You choose to believe what your parents told you. You choose to believe what your past and painful experiences told you. You choose to believe what do, what, what the, the, your husband tells you. You choose to believe what, what your parents, what society tells you. So the Bible tells you you are blessed beyond a curse. But society has told you the devil, you choose to believe what the devil told you. The devil says you are good for nothing. The devil says you can never amount. You keep on struggling in life and you keep on being broke. So you choose to reflect the image of the devil rather than believing that God blesses everything you touch. That God says, rather than reflecting the mirror of God that says whatsoever you touch shall be blessed. You choose to reflect you are ex who said you were good for nothing. Rather than, than reflecting the mirror of God that says you are the head and not the tail. You are the top and not the bottom. Why then are you reflecting the, the mirror of the economy? That says the economy is going down. That says you are going down. You are about to die. There is a famine in the land. You are about to die of a famine. That tells you the economy tells you. You've got to live where God asks you to be. And you've got to go back to Egypt. You've got to depend on. You, you've got to go back to living. Me, me, to, 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 scamming, to scamming. You've got to go back to theft to survive. And but God is telling you when. There is a casting down. You will say there is a lifting up. You know why? Because God has made available everything that you need to be lifted up during the famine, during the casting down. Whose mirror are you reflecting? Are you reflecting the word of God and reflecting the mirror of your personality as God designated for you to be? Or you are reflecting the mirror of the devil, the mirror of the enemy, the mirror of your haters, the mirror of your bad experiences, the mirror of the economy, the mirror of, of, of your family, the mirror of your ex. Whose mirror are you reflecting? This is a food for thought. God bless you. Shalom.